morning friends, Tom Wiley here. Um, on the road to work, but ultimately to the fair. So I let you see what's behind me. The log splitter. Ready to introduce at the fair this afternoon to see if I'm able to exhibit. Wow, there's a lot of bad lighting. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, we'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna do my best. I'm gonna show up with, with the machine, hopefully demonstrate it to the people in the different departments of the fair, and we'll see if they uh, approve my exhibit. I didn't get to work on it a whole lot this weekend. There were a lot of things uh, in the shop that just needed to be like cleared out and dealt with so I could even work on it. Um, Cause I, cause the shop hasn't been very set up yet since moving there. Um, so that was disappointing. I wasn't able to get as much done on it as I wanted to, but it is functional. I got the winch added to the back of it. So um, tensioning the spring and raising and lowering it for setting things up is a breeze now compared to a pain. So that's good. Um, and let's see, the other good news was yesterday we had Sean and Monica Mitzel from the Prepared Homestead and Huckleberry Mountain Botanicals.com. Uh, they came out and took a look at our property, our homestead, looked at our garden spaces, our water um, runoff issues where it's eroding the road and flooding the shop and all the stuff going on, looked at our pond and gave their advice on what they would recommend we do to manage the water on our homestead so it's not causing damage but being productive. Um, do them start some rainwater catchment and, and management. Um, kind of how to you know think and start, start planning for setting up our garden spaces and um, kind of getting them under control again after being overgrown and just um, neglected for several years uh, and then before we got it and and then including our first year of just not being able to do much with them um, and so some permaculture concepts and ideas for all that as well as forest management managing our we got we have a lot of grand fur and duck fur that are dying off that have been for the years before we bought it and um, possibly some since we got it I'm not 100% sure, but um, there's a lot of dead, standing dead grand fur. Um, so, got Sean's advice on that um, with his forestry experience and knowledge. So, really appreciated that. I'm looking forward. I recorded a lot of that time together. Um, so, I'm looking forward to sharing that with you all soon. It'll be a few weeks before I edit pieces of it, but um, but I'll get those up as soon as I can. So, look forward to that. And hopefully, you'll get to see me at the fair featuring the wood chopper. So we'll see you hopefully there.